Let's separate the hue in Affinity photo and use this to boost colors in a photo. As always, let's start by duplicating our image layer by pressing Command or Ctrl J. We'll add a procedural texture filter to this duplicate. Using this procedural texture filter, we are going to separate the hue. I already have a preset for this and will apply this from my presets. I'll put the formula used in the description. For more information how this works, check out the excellent video by Inaffinity. I'll also make sure to have a link to that video in the description. If all goes well, we'll end with only the hue colors with max saturation. The idea is to use the color information from this layer as a mask. To do that, I'm going to add another procedural texture to this layer. I'll add an expression and this time we're going to use the green value as our alpha. Excellent! This layer now has the green colors removed from this layer and can act as a mask. Before moving on, let's also soften this mask by adding a Gaussian blur filter to the image. Make sure to select the image first so that the live Gaussian filter will be applied on top of the procedural texture filters. A radius around 4 pixels works nicely for this image. We can now add an HSL adjustment on top and move the hue mask we created as a mask to the HSL by dragging and dropping it on top of the HSL icon in the layers panel. I'll increase the saturation to around 40% and lower the luminosity to minus 20%. When using this technique, you would normally not modify the luminosity as this will introduce artifacts. But I'm going to change the blend mode of the HSL adjustment to soft light, which in this case will get rid of the artifacts. A quick look at the before and the after. We have increased the saturation and added a nice little bit of contrast. Now I'll duplicate this HSL adjustment and take a look at that. Amazing! I think I'm going to keep this duplicate. It just looks good. I'll duplicate once more and change the blend mode of this last duplicate to normal. In the hue mask we created, I'll change the procedural texture on top and use the red channel instead of the green for the alpha. That will look awful, but we need to modify the HSL adjustment. I'll reset the luminosity to zero and lower the saturation to about 20%. Beautiful! We got ourselves a very vibrant image. This effect is definitely not subtle and should only be used if you really want the strong colors in your composition. When I compare the before and the after, I notice that the bright eyes of our subject is lost. I can select the three adjustments and press Ctrl or Command G to group them. Once I have my group, I can now add a mask to the group and mask out the effect from our eyes. Awesome! Because we got the effect layers in a group now, optionally we can dim down the effect by lowering the opacity of the group. I hope you like this interesting method of boosting the vibrance. Remember that there are many other ways of achieving these kind of results, but I think this was an interesting way to utilize the hue colors from an image. Thanks again for tuning in and hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave. Until the next video.